Good morning. Welcome this morning to our devotional time. We're looking today at 1 Thessalonians chapter 1, verses 6, 7, and 8. Let's see what it says. And you became followers of us and of the Lord, having received the word in much affliction with joy of the Holy Spirit, so that you became examples to all in Macedonia and Asia who believe. For from you the word of the Lord has sounded forth, not only in Macedonia and in Asia, but also in every place. Your faith toward God has gone out, so that we do not need to say anything. So this congregation began with disciples. Paul and the other associates that worked with him in raising up this congregation from nothing, what they did was they, uh, they lived and modeled Christianity by what they, uh, how they themselves lived, and then they also taught them uh, very much uh, focused and centered on Jesus. And so this, this was how this congregation began. They took the truth of God and they successfully transmitted it to a whole congregation of new believers. And that's what our churches today need to be doing too. But there were challenges uh, to being a Christian in that culture. Uh, and you see it at verse 6. They received the word in much affliction. So they had some challenges. Now Paul knows what those challenges are. They know what those challenges are. And this is one of the f uh, features of epistles. Sometimes the author will talk to the church, and you and I are kind of like a couple steps removed. We don't really know the exact details of what they're talking about, but they do. So we don't know the details of a lot of these things, but there was, it says here, much affliction, not just a little bit. There must be several things that they, Paul has in mind, and they're all thinking about them when they hear this. So the church didn't just, this church didn't just start on easy street. This church started with trouble. Maybe that's one reason why it actually grew into something. So the result was joyful Christians living in the middle of a, a totally pagan culture, a totally pagan society. And not only that, but we find here in uh, our passage here that the word of the Lord, for from you, verse 8, for from you the word of the Lord has sounded forth. Not only in Macedonia and Asia, but also in every place. So their uh, faith, this, this peop, these people were disciples, they were learners, they became missionaries and began to take the message out into the world right around where they were. They began to just transmit it on. And so the, the church began to grow and grow. This is what we want to be today, isn't it? We want to send the message out. Today we're competing against so many other strange notions. And, you know, a few of our congregations in North America today have have faced some of this same kind of trouble. You know, we've had it really uh, fairly light. And so we're not really used to this. Maybe that's one reason why we don't see a lot of uh, immediate results sometimes. But we want our churches to be, whatever it costs us, we want them to be living churches, like the Thessalonian church was. Some of our churches today are so weak that whatever strange idea comes rolling out of the culture just, just rolls into the church and it's just gobbled up just like every other thing. And uh, that's not a formula for a powerful church. So let's see what we can learn. Somehow we need to recover the nonconformist spirit that permeated the believers in this city of Thessalonica and then went out and opened up that part of the world. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, uh, we recognize today that our churches aren't all that they should be. Please, Lord, strengthen us. Help us to be, first of all, disciples, learners. Help us to learn, first of all, from the Word and test everything by the Bible. Lord, we ask that you will uh, show us the way. Help us to be diligent, to seek out your approach and to adapt it and employ it correctly in, our, in the culture that surrounds us. Please help your church today, Lord. This is what we desire, and we desire it because we love Jesus, and we love Jesus because you've put that love in our heart, not because we've uh, generated it, because we're all just nice, great people. Lord, we are beggarly people. We are people with a poverty of spirituality. We are people who have great need for you. So strengthen us, Lord, as your people. Thank you for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name, we make this request of you. Amen. So here's a question. What does your congregation need from you? that God has given you that you can give it. Have a wonderful day serving the Lord Jesus Christ. God be with you.